Hi, I am your host Crexo and today I will be talking about Free Run Beyond Journeys and Content Warning, please read the description on the screen. I will say it right from the beginning, but the moment Gigak dropped the video about Free Run titled How It Feels Losing Everyone, I lost my will and gone read the manga. So even when I enjoyed the show, I had my enjoyment spoiled a fair bit. Still, as an anime series, this show has gone above and beyond everyone's expectations. And right now, this will be my honest thoughts about the story. About the story itself, it is placed in a typical fantasy setting. Having a world full of magic, mythical beasts, demons, dwarfs and elves, when you start a journey, aided to work, groceries, to a friend's house or just a normal walk, the journey always has an end. After traveling together for 10 measly years, Fruiren, Aizen, Haita and Himmel finish their long, long journey to defeat the Demon King. Witnessing the meteor shower which comes around only once in 50 years, Freeran nonchalantly says that they should watch it from a place where they can see it clearer, making Himmel have a hearty laughter thinking about how Freeran is not thinking about them at all. After saying their farewell, the anime continues following Freeran for 1 minute and 25 seconds. We can see the passage of time with an elf's eyes, it just flew by. Thinking about picking up the horn of a shadow dragon from Himmel, she decides to visit him as the time of the era meteor shower is close by. Seeing Himmel after 50 years for the first time, him being shoveled up and being even of a smaller statue than herself, seeing Freeran and Change stinks Himmel for a bit. After meeting the whole gang again, we get to see how they are all teasing Freeran. Being a group of mates who gone through thick and thin, they each grew fond of each other. We get a peaceful feeling of them being something like a family. Needing a short week's walk to get to their destination, reminiscent of their 10 year adventure where everything seemed so brilliant and new. And she was always there in those beautiful memories. Himmel's been looking forward to the day they'll all be together again. Thank you, Freeran. Because of you, I had this delightful adventure at the very end. Beautiful. Cutting off to the funeral of the hero Himmel, still not sinking into free run, the realization that Himmel, her friend and companion for the ten years, departed. Only after the bells start to ring and the earth falling onto the coffin, reminiscing as he get buried, still in disbelief, she breaks down. Regretting as to why she didn't try to get to know Himmel better, we get a pure emotion of sadness and regret, just to be comforted a bit, but not helping. Just writing the script, rewatching the first episode, rewriting it word for word till I just burst out crying multiple times. Ah, this is just the first part of the story of Freer and Beyond's journey's end. Because every story has to end, just like we have seen with how Himmel departed, we will all meet our ends, but what is important is how we walk the road. How are we going to cherish our family, friends and beloved ones? In life we will always have regrets, but wallowing inside of them is the worst decision we can make. I know, a lot of us are stuck in the past without being able to move on with life, licking our open wounds, Melancholic about the decision we should have made but didn't. Remembering the good old days of friends going out together, having fun, playing around and being free. It's just a pain all together. Still, one of the ways of getting over it is by having something helping us to keep going. In the story of Freeran it is the wish of being able to live a good life in heaven after death. Being one of the way to help us even in real life, having a belief that it's not just the end, is a strong driving force helping out some of us in the journey of life. 
I'm not saying you all should just go and be converted to a church the first thing in the morning, no, no, no. This is not about religion. It's about faith, either in yourself, your family, your friends. And if you are not able to find the speck of light inside the darkness, please, please just keep on looking and one day you, you will find the brightest spark helping you out in this adventure. Because in the end you are special. You, the viewer, the person behind the screen are the one who is choosing how to live. So don't wallow, stand up and keep walking. Just thinking about how I wanted to talk about the story and how I kept thinking to myself about how easy it would be was silly of myself. But the moment I started I realized that I need to pour my whole soul into this because this is how strong of a story it is. Anything less would be disrespectful. After the funeral Eisen goes home and Heide goes back to the holy church saying he will probably never see Freeran again. Asking Freeran to pour a drink on his grave when she is in the holy city, 20 years pass after the death of Himmel. This is the way we keep track of time in this show. Feeling it all as if it was just yesterday, Freeran wants to keep her promise to Haita as he is a human too. Surprised to find out Haita is still alive, she accompanies him for a few years after getting a quest to decrypt a book about immortality. While decrypting the book, Heiter asked Freeran to teach foreign magic on the side. This being a silly ploy to make a companion for Freeran on her journey in the future. As for the book, it was fake. If I said to you all that it was just the first 25 minutes of the show, the people who did not watch the show would probably be in disbelief. I mean, it's understandable. The writing is brilliant, the storytelling is amazing, the music is phenomenal. Well, expect the opening, which does not exactly sit with the feel of the story, but as a standalone song, it is a good song. The ending song encapsulates the story perfectly, on the other hand. The sound tracks inside the show, and sometimes even the absence of them all is making the show even more immersing. I mean, I can talk about the fighting scenes like Arrow of the Guillotine, Stark vs. the Red Dragon, Freeran vs. Demons, or even Freeran with Fern vs. Freeran's copy. All of the fighting sequences were going harder than they ever needed, but that was already said by the big names in the industry. What I like about the story is that Freeran is just a girl traveling to find answers for her questions. Being accompanied by the legacies her party members left her by living their life, Stark to Aizen, Fern to Freeran and Haita, Zayn being influenced by Haita, only Himmel not having one is the one she does not have, not noticing that she, Freeran, is the legacy. Reliving the memories of the journey, retracing almost all of the steps, trying to remember whatever tiny bit possible of Himmel, getting joy from seeing the statues, the festivals, the memories that Himmel left for Freeran, because it was his death that made the stopped hands of time flow for Freeran again. For the first time in the thousand of years she lived, she felt as if she finally awoken from a frozen slumber. She is awake and alive and walking her own path. So I call her Sauson of Freeran, nicknaming Freeran as the one who slayed the most demons in mankind's history. Knowing her strength but still underestimating her thanks to her master's teaching, Flamma laid the foundations not only for humankind's progress of magic but even more so the foundation inside of Freeran. Feeling the agency in Flamme as she made most of her decision as fast as she could, not understanding it all till she departed. Later on, talking with Saria because of the will Flamme left, Fruren understands it but does not take it to the heart till later on. That is because there are many moments in life we have to make important decisions. Flamme as a human felt the need to sow the seeds inside of Fruren not waiting for Freeran to be closed off and wishing for our future encounters to be full of emotions because we humans live a lot closer to death than the other races. We truly cannot afford to wallow and delay the important choices in life, sometimes it will be hard, even devastating, but we must still go on, because that's what we are, struggling but moving forward, living in the tale of life. 
I don't really think I need to dissect Freer and more, as for the other characters we have the main couple that we are all rooting for. From the beginning Fern and Stark did not really like each other, slowly getting closer till they fell for each other. Being bashful at times and not being honest with their own feelings we have a lot of fun watching them interact. In Fern we can see the mother-child characteristic really well, trying to be mature about matters concerning Freeran, but being a kid in puberty on matters concerning her or the relationship with Stark. Sometimes poting for silly reasons puts a smile onto my face. Stark trying but not understanding all of Fern's feelings, heck, even his own are confusing him sometimes. He's trying to be the best version of himself. Even when he knows that he can get cold feet at a lot of times, it is those times that he has to preserve to be able to move forward. Like a shield, like a sword, being at the front line while simultaneously shielding everyone. Zayn, being a corrupted priest not really fitting the definition of a priest, left a life of regret of not going onto a journey with his childhood friend, Gorilla Warrior. He gets a second chance when he finally gets invited by Freeran to join her party and persuaded by his own older brother to leave the village and not to wallow in his regrets anymore. Living with the party, being easygoing most of the time and giving relationship advice to Fern and Stark from time to time. He does leave the party after a bit, still life is full of surprises so who knows. Maybe, just maybe. As for the one who changed Freeran the most, Himmel, we can see him as a normal guy trying his best to be the best version of himself. Loving Freeran, Himmel makes all the effort he can to make the journey unforgettable. So that when she looks back to the past, she can find many beautiful memories that will keep her company for the rest of her life. Being a hero not because he defeated Demon King, but being the hero because he lived the way he did for his loved ones. If I get a question what this anime, Freeware and Beyond's journey end is, I will answer it like this. It's a journey, a ride, a destination. Even more so it is a story. But at the same time it is a reflection in all of us. It's like a mirror telling us to wake up. Don't despair, there is light at the end of the tunnel. A beautiful story with heart rushing and heart warming moments, showing us that life can be at times hard and at other times bright. Thank you all for listening to me till the end. Normally I would rate it, but while writing the script for this video I could not force myself to put it lower than a masterpiece. I know that the show is not finished, even if it never will be, just what was done is a testament of how tremendously deep the story is. Getting emotional and crying trying to make it fit I gained even more respect for the series, deserving to be the best fantasy story we had in a really long time. One more thing, I'm not sponsored, but if you have problems in life and you find it hard to get by, go to your friends, family, therapist or the Christ's Lifeline of 988 in America or you can try betterhelp.com. Cause there is nothing worse than to just choke on pent up emotions without letting them out from time to time. This is one of the reasons I love the medium of anime. Thank you again, stay in good health and we will see us in the next video.